Hey everyone, this is Seth Herter, Master of Cabinet Chemistry, and today I'm going to show you all a really simple technique uh, that I've learned to produce really high grade, uh, really high purity ethanol. Uh, so powerful actually, it could be used to propel a rocket or to distill all sorts of things. It's a perfect solvent. It can be used as a cleaning agent. That's personally what I use it for, is for a uh, uh, chemical process uh, uh, in a laboratory. I use it to isolate chemical compounds and stuff. I'm going to show you all how to produce ethanol that's 100% pure. It's very simple. The first step, all you all are going to do is you're going to make a simple yeast culture, and that's really simple to do. All you need to do is you need to take uh, some confectioner sugar, and I'm just going to take two tablespoons of confectioner sugar, and I'm going to dissolve that in a half pint mason jar and some water. There's one. Get this nice and sugary, get the yeast some good stuff to eat. It's not, it doesn't have to be precise particularly. Uh, the yeast will eat, the more sugar that's available, the faster that this uh, culture will prove. All right, and uh, then you're just gonna take any kind of yeast. There's uh, special kinds of yeast that are available that uh, are alcohol producing yeast, brewer's yeasts, and you can use those, those are great. Or uh, just active baker's yeast will also be capable of producing this reaction. Uh, this reaction is just the uh, synthesis of ethanol um, by microorganisms, by yeast, into 100% ethanol. And like I said, very useful product. So we're just going to go ahead and rub it off of our spoon here, get all the yeast dissolved in the water pretty well. And then uh, one thing that's interesting is... When I go around and show my social security number, people are always confused as to, uh, what the hell? You know, they're always used to a certain social security number for whatever area they're from. And they're always like, where's your social security number from? Well, actually, my social security number is from uh, West Virginia. And uh, I actually learned this process from an old moonshiner in uh, West Virginia. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is a trick that he taught me actually, which is you're just going to take the jars, and as you'll see I already have one produced out here, you're just going to take them outside in the sunlight, and you're just going to set them up in the sun, and the sun is going to help these yeast grow, and hopefully they'll proof a lot quicker. You can already see they're bubbling around, digesting some of the sugars. You proof them for about two hours in the sunlight to uh, ten hours, and you'll get some really, really strong yeast. All right, and that's step one, which is producing yeast cultures, and I'll continue this process later in step two, which is making a mash.